human dialogue, human conversation, is the very heart of us. Um, Socrates spotted this very early on. As presented to us by Plato, Socrates was the first man to promulgate the idea that philosophical discussion is the heart of philosophy. Philosophy isn't textbooks. It's Dialogue is the heart of philosophy. It, philosophy is an activity that you do. Wittgenstein, of course, is one of the great philosophers who made human language and the ability to perform with it at the very core of our beings and our ability to be philosophical. Wittgenstein was mysterious and, and strange and mystical. Human dialogue is the very heart of us. We have our beings in part because we talk to other people. The very highest level of thing to aim at in artificial intelligence. Well, of course, Turing must take a lot of credit and or responsibility for this. I mean, as you know, Turing's formal discoveries in the area of decidable mathematics and in the very earliest computers what he really did. But what he's known for in artificial intelligence and in normal drawing room talk is this idea that um, a dialogue computer, a computer that could chat to you, is in some sense the definition of thinking. It wasn't because he believed that computers think. People often think Turing was saying computers think. No, no. Turing, in a sense, had absorbed from Wittgenstein the idea that um, philosophy can be a snare and a delusion. You can't keep a good man down, Wittgenstein. Talking endlessly about whether people think or have minds can be a very useless conversation. You just make your mind up. With most people who look like us and sit near us and talk to us, we don't have this worry about them. We know they have minds because that's the convention. It's a polite convention other people have minds and to question it is to be very rude. So Turing was really suggesting moving that polite convention into the area of artificial intelligence, namely that if a computer could carry on a dialogue like we can, as he put it, we should say by convention that it thinks. Okay, because we're made of this soft fleshy stuff and computers aren't. Its semantics don't bottom out in the right things. They bottom out in ones and zeros. But it's hard to believe for me in the end that it's the stuff that is the real difference. Essentially, let's give up a fruitless discussion and if computers can do this, simply move them into the category of thinking beings with minds and stop worrying about it.